right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my 1995 Nissan GTR V spec. Um, I've had the car for about two months, and I've contemplated back and forth about doing a video blog type thing on YouTube. Um, so I finally decided to pull the trigger on that, and this is what I'm doing here. I'm currently in Japan. Um, I am planning on bringing the car back to the States um, after I leave here in two years and uh, she will be 25 years old and uh, yeah this is my car it's a 1995 V-Spec uh, it's got the Nismo LM GT4 wheels um, they're not replicas they are the actual real wheels it has Nismo coilovers um, it's got a full exhaust on it. I would say the cars, the body is a 7 out of 10. Um, the reason I say 7 out of 10 is because a lot of the imperfections you can't see really um, until you're right up on the car up close. It looks like you know the car has been sprayed at least one other time. Um, and it does have some imperfections. And one imperfection that it has is actually my fault. Uh, so we had another typhoon here. And what happened was I didn't know where to put the car. I wasn't aware of any uh, vehicle storage. I wasn't a part of any uh, Skyline groups or anything like that. So yeah, that happened the last typhoon. I'm actually gonna be getting this fixed here uh, rather shortly. Uh, so stand by for that. Um, it'll just be a um, more of a, a fix, a touch up. It won't be really like a respray the whole car type of deal. Although I do want to get the whole car repainted, but um, going back and forth on paint and between paint and wrap, but I'm leaning more towards the paint um, just because I feel like that will give a. Um, a better look to the car than a wrapping well not to say that wrapping is um you know kind of you know it's not to say that wrapping is bad it's just i prefer to have paint uh the reason that i don't want to uh do the paint here is because they don't have at least i haven't seen anywhere where you can get the car clear broad and i definitely want the car clear broad after i wrap it after i paint it rather just to, to protect that you know that very expensive paint job that I want to get on it. Um, the car does have some carbon fiber accents. It has one here on the uh, on the edge of the of the hood here, and then it does have a carbon fiber lip down here, which is actually really nice. It gives the car a really nice accent. I, I like that a lot. Um, the exterior of the car is just very very good. It's very very well done. It's very very tasteful. You know, and that's and that's kind of what I like. I like to see a, a tasteful you know, well done, put together uh, car. And especially one like this. I mean, if you just look at this thing, it's just beautiful. You know, there are not many, you know, Skylines, GCRs that, you know, they're, they're, that are gonna look this good. You know, I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful car to look at. And like I said, from far away, you really can't see the imperfections, which helps a lot. You know, um, it does have some stuff, it has, try to get close enough to where you can see it but you know I'm planning on getting this car uh, clay uh, clay barred I'll be doing that myself I'll be spending some quality time I'll probably do it this weekend and then put a video up after uh, yep so you can kind of see here I don't know how well you can see it but you could definitely see that you know there's some stuff some work that needs, needs to be done this paint um, I got more carbon fiber back here this is real carbon fiber it's very very nice I like it a lot you know but the real thing about this car is it's the interior I'm gonna show you this, the car's interior now the car's interior to me I would give it an 8 out of 10 and the reason being because it just has a couple of things that just you know they're just they're not for really my taste okay so I'm gonna actually pull my key out so it starts beeping uh, so in the interior and you can see the interior of this car is very very nice it's got a, a, a nice nardy wheel here this steering wheel is it's amazing i like this steering wheel and, and, and i never was 
a fan of Nardi wheels until like I got my hands on this one. I'm like, this is a really nice, comfortable wheel. Um, you know, when you're just cruising, you know, you can drive it down here. You can grip it under hand here, um, which is really nice. Very comfortable to drive. You see, I got the, uh, I got the Nismo seats. They're very nice. Very, very well done. Um, the covering on them is very, very nice. I have the Duloc floor bar back here and the seats back here are very, very nice. You know, interesting thing about this car is you think of a sports car. You think, okay, you know, the back seat, not very usable. Now, I have already have the car adjusted to my, um, to my, to where I drive at. And if I just get back here and I sit down, I pull the seat back, I still have room. I mean, this wouldn't be comfortable on a very long drive, but just back and forth, like 15, 20 minutes back here, I have a lot of headroom still. It's, it's not bad turn the camera around so you can kind of see like I still have a lot of headroom here you know anybody that's you know probably going to be above six feet probably we wouldn't want them sitting back there but for the most part you know it gets the job done um so I said the interior is an uh, eight out of ten and I'll tell you why so this right here like I don't like this whatever this is the carbon fiber you know this used to it should just be black i'm gonna get a, a nice a better looking knob i'll probably get a black one um and then this right here so the doors have the carbon fiber you know the inserts right here but it doesn't match and i think the pattern is actually different it's actually laid differently than this is so when you close a door you know it just doesn't it doesn't flow well and you can see how this is kind of glossy and this is matte, you know? And so one of the things I'll be doing is I'll be getting this all changed out to match this. I do like the carbon fiber look of this. I think it's a very well thought of thing. I do want to switch this to the later model, probably like the Series 3 interior, uh, this part, this whole piece, because it just looks better. Um, I do want to get rid of this carbon fiber on the boot, on this brake boot here too just go with something black um yeah this interior is really good though so those are those are only my only gripes about the interior and you know the radio as well it's japanese but you know that could be that could be fixed pretty easily that's not something that you know i'm, I'm overly really too upset about um i do want to get um led lighting and the gauge clusters and all that stuff um so you guys are probably wondering what's under the hood and the car as it stands right now makes about 380 wheel horsepower which is pretty good you know a lot of times when people think about cars and power say 380 is not a lot well I'll tell you what when you have all wheel drive you know 380 can be quite an amount of power here so engine bay definitely needs to use some love um, I am I'm planning on doing a lot of uh, work under here too. Like I said, this is a this is a car a car blog, so you guys will be able to see the progress of the car, how it's coming along, stuff like that. And it's not gonna <clears throat> excuse me, it's not gonna be clickbaity. I can't stand that clickbait shit on the cars. I can't like it's so obnoxiously, it's so annoying, and I don't like it. So I'm not gonna do something that I don't like just to get views. Um, it's got an oil relocation kit, which is, I hear, is a good thing for these cars. I don't know shit about the RB26. I have a 300ZX twin turbo back in the States, and it's a um, completely different engine. You know, it's very different. You know, you feel, you know, you can feel that it's Nissan, but, you know, but it feels different. And, um, and yeah, so I'll give you guys an exhaust clip. I'm not going to rev the engine just because of where I'm at. You know, it's just... You know, it, it's loud, it's obnoxious, it's RB26, and if you are wondering how RB26 sounds, there's plenty of vi videos on YouTube, and you can see how that sounds. Um, I do want to get the uh, radiator here changed out. I, I am going to put electric fans. I know a lot of people really aren't down with it, but, you know, it's my car, so, you know, 
it is what it is. I'll be having electric fans. I think it's a cleaner, cleaner way to have the engine bay. Um, I do want to change this to black. Uh, I think it's, I just want to have the the car matching. Change all the couplers to black. Black whatever I can out in here, really. And uh, yeah, that's it for that. Yeah, like I said, man, this is like this is a great car. It really is. I'll be putting more videos up on it so you guys can see, you know, what I'm doing with the car, how the progress is going, and, uh, you know, just everything going on with the car and the journey back to the States. I think that's going to be, you know, a cool thing. Seeing the car come from all the way from Japan, going back to the States, I think that'd be a really cool thing. So, you know, if you like it, uh, subscribe, you know, appreciate that. Share it with your friends. And, you know, there's not a lot of uh, GTR content especially for the R33 on YouTube, so, you know, just, you know, like it. Oh, the car does have a name, right? So I do want to go over that real quick. The car does have a name. The name is Ghost. Why? Because I'm a huge uh, Game of Thrones fan. Giant Star Wolf, Ghost, it's white. My car is white, so I figure, why the hell not? Um, actually, uh, hopefully I don't get sued for copyright or anything like that, but... Sorry about my camera cord coming, the microphone coming down. But right here, I do want to change these to the the direwolf emblem right here. Uh, some people will like it, some people won't. But like I said, you know, it's my car. I do what I want with it. Um, it'll be tasteful. It'll be the uh, John Starwolf. So it won't the the sigil won't be facing to the right. It'll actually be facing to the left. It'll have the red eye on it. So. I've been looking at little emblems I can buy so I can get one of those made. But yeah, you know, it's gonna be a lot of prog a lot of things happening to it and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the progress. So if you like the video, if you like what I'm doing here, hit subscribe. You know, Ghost R33, R33 YouTube, you know, hit me up if you're another GTR guy, if you have, you know, any tips, anything like that. I'm a pretty open guy. I don't hate. And uh, yeah, if you, if you like it, subscribe. Thanks.